Getting through this with stories to help get back on track as we rebound Tampa Bay. ABC Action News is committed to providing you with the tools, information, and resources you need as we work together to rebound from the impact of the coronavirus. Tonight, a buyer beware about COVID-19 and out-of-pocket costs. ABC Action News reporter Katie Legrone discovers why you should think twice if you're asked to pay for any tests or treatments related to the virus. Event planner Penny Zarkadoulis is convinced back in February she had COVID-19. I had this persistent cough for five weeks and then they gave me all kinds of medication and prednisone and inhalers and it just wasn't helping. Last month when her doctor's office started offering antibody testing, she signed up but was charged $75 for a telehealth screening and another $150 for the test. All she says out of pocket. What did you think of the charges? I thought they were expensive. Turns out it shouldn't have cost her a dime. According to the Federal CARES Act, the stimulus package created to help all of us pay for the virus and its fallout, comprehensive health insurance companies must cover 100% of coronavirus testing and treatment, including hospitalization and the new but controversial antibody test. So put simply, nobody should be paying out of pocket for really anything related to COVID-19? Yeah, for the most part. Bob McKnight is a Tampa-based insurance broker. They're saying that, yes, we will cover you anything to do with COVID. We'll waive deductibles, we'll waive co-insurance, and we'll waive your out-of-pocket. Even telemedicine visits should occur at no cost to patients, as long as it's COVID-related. As for the uninsured, $2 billion additional dollars is helping to cover their costs. But what happens when the money runs out? That's a good question. I mean, that, that's one of the big unknowns that we don't know. All of this, no guarantee some consumers still won't get surprise bills. I'm guessing that there'll probably be some issues there with, um, oh, that was COVID, but it wasn't coded the right way, things like that. McKnight advises consumers to review explanation of benefits, which break down medical costs. Any problems? Get on the phone with your insurance company and talk to a supervisor. This is so new, not only for us, but it's also new for the insurance companies. I'm sure there's a learning curve. As for Penny, she can still get reimbursed for the out-of-pocket expenses she was charged for that antibody test. But there's no solution yet for the test. She's now taken twice, only to get two different results. Now that I have a negative antibody test, I don't even know. I don't know if that one's wrong or the first one was wrong. So now I have to go do it again? I think it's crazy. I think it's a crazy ripoff. And right now there are no restrictions on repeat testers, which means you can take these tests multiple times at no cost to you. I'm IT investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you. So here is the rebound rundown for how much COVID testing and treatments could cost you. Bottom line, insurance companies must pay all costs associated with virus testing and treatments including antibody testing and, in most cases, hospitalizations. This coverage also includes telemedicine visits as long as it's COVID-related. For the uninsured, the federal government has added an additional $2 billion to help cover patient costs. All of this does not mean some consumers still won't get bills with some surprise charges. If you do, though, contact your insurance company and speak with a supervisor. Likely mistakes will boil down to coding errors. We've put a link to this story and other resources you can use to navigate the rebound. Just head to abcactionnews.com slash rebound.